Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. I hope you all are having a fantastic day, but then again, I know you are because that's the intention you said, Geminis. So yes, 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 we're going to get right into your reading. We're going to be talking about the number 30 today. And also, this is going to just so you know up front, this is going to be an extended video. So at the end of the videos, I'm going to give you all my 31 tips for how to manifest the life that you want including love, money, and good health. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's start with some I am affirmations, okay, Geminis? Let's start there before we get these cards shuffled and ready to go so we can see what these cards, the story these cards have to tell us. By the way, a lot of people ask me what card I'm using. These tarot cards are the Light Sears Tarot cards by Chris Ann. These oracle cards right here on the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron reed So, yep, we got that out of the way. Let's go with your affirmations. I am flexible, right? Because sometimes it's nice to know exactly who you are when the world or the rest of the world and people are trying to project negativity onto you, Geminis. You all know you all are some of my favorite people. I love, love, love Geminis. Have some great Gemini friends, but you all already know that, right? Yes, I am flexible. I am outgoing. I am funny. I am enthusiastic. I am smart. I am very versatile. I am gentle. I am affectionate. I am curious. I am adaptable. I have the ability to learn quickly and exchange ideas. Let's get into these cards. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Geminis as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. Yes, Geminis. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We know that this is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, please log into my website at queenamunra.com. You'll see my calendar there, which is for the whole world to see. You'll see my availability. You'll see pricing information, everything right there on that one website. Let's get to your reading. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. Let's push these cards back a little bit so we can see what's going on here. Lots of things going on in your life right now. We are tiptoeing into 2021. A lot of people have had different views about 2021. A lot of relationships have ended. Boom. Death. Right? A lot of relationships have ended. A lot of people have let go of unnecessary attachments. Yes. Death, free birth. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to put that right here. We have the full card. Yes, this right here represents brand new, fresh beginnings for a lot of you all. A lot of relationships have ended, whether they were platonic friendships, love friendships, love romantic relationships, work relationships, nevertheless, has ended, right? Tower moment. You all know that you're protected, right? So you don't have to worry about somebody speaking negatively of you or trying to do anything to you in the spirit. You're already protected. You don't have to worry about black magic and all that bad energy or anything like that. You're already protected because of what you've been putting out in the universe, right? Stay focused, Gemini. Stay focused. If anything comes up against you, it will not prosper. I can tell you that right now. You are no longer living in fear. You are living by faith. Love it, love it, love it. Lots of changes. You all have ascended. I'm loving this for you, right? Your spirit has ascended. Mm-hmm. And here's your duality, right? This is your card, Gemini. This is your twin flame, but your duality, you are your twin flame, loving yourself deeper and harder. A lot of you all have let go of people only to find that everything you were looking for outside of yourself has already been inside of yourself. It was always there. It was always there, always there. Yes, like I said, I'm not going to take up too much of y'all time. I'm really not. I'm just not going to do it. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Let's talk about the number 30 for a second, right? Number 30s, right? Now, we're talking about stepping who to the vibration of the number. This is just the first part of your reading. We're going to, you know, tie all of this in together. But yeah, the first part, this is the first part of your reading, right? So you all have had some major changes in 2020. And a lot of this happened while, you know, in the midst of all the other stuff, the pandemic, all the horrible news, the elections in the United States, all kinds of stuff that was going on. You all decided, you know what? I'll choose me. 
that's just, I mean, that's the long and short of it. I choose me unapologetically. I'm not fearful. You know, I allow people to stay in my energy space for too long. If they have something bad to say about me, it's a reflection of them. Let karma deal with it. I don't even care at this point, right? Because I know who I am, right? I'm all these wonderful things. I'm powerful and I'm intellectual. Whole nine yards, even including people in your workplace have tried to take advantage of you, right? Yes, they have tried to take advantage of you, right? Because they know that you all are the communicators of the universe, right? And so they come to you with all the answers. But I want you all to, um, like I said, some relationships have ended. Stop taking responsibility for other people and just let people, that's, that's overwhelming yourself. Let people handle their own stuff, right? You know, if they want to come to you for some help because you all are givers, you can give them help but not to a point where you are out of balance, right? This is focusing on nurturing yourself first, tapping into your divine feminine energy, not letting other people overwhelm you. If this person wasn't here, you would be only be just a giver, completely out of balance, making yourself, leaving yourself wide open for takers, people who want to take, take, take from you. But when you nurture yourself and everything is totally um, aligned and in balance, boy, oh boy, you don't let people take advantage of you, right? So yeah, so getting back to the number 30, we're talking about the vibration of the number 30, right? Number 30s are highly artistic. Number 30s mean that you have a strong desire to express yourself through dance, media, creative projects, etc. Number 30s have a strong and supreme mind, right? Number 30s mean although you are easygoing and you're warm socially, you also need your alone time, right? That's you, Gemini, nurturing yourself. This is you nurturing yourself. Yeah, you all are the communicators of the zodiac. So people are drawn to you. They're expecting for you to give, 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 give because you all are the communicators. But now sometimes you need to just kind of go within, nurture yourself. So you got to create that sanctuary so that you can protect your gifts and your talents that goes along with the number 30. And then also number 30s are here to uplift. Also the zero and number 30, we talk about the zero and number 30 gives you divine protection. Let's get to the second part of this. Yes. Like I said, I'm not here to take up anybody, too much time for anybody. We get into the beginning of this new year. We're coming to the end of the new year. Like I said, the end of the new year, death, and then rebirth into another cycle for a lot of people. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Let's see what else this, these cards have to say. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Look at this. Nine of Swords. Some parts of this year had a lot of you all stressed out, anxiety ridden, crying, all of that. But guess what? Your ancestors was right there looking over you, watching over you, saying, It's gonna be all right, baby. It is going to be all right. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> you were more than all right, like I said. A lot of you all had a lot of visits from ancestors and other realms through your dreams, through meditation and everything, feeling very nostalgic, like, hmm, it could have been a smell, something that you smell, something that you saw that reminded, reminded you of your childhood, but you're just like, wow, you know what? I'm focusing on the things that really matter, the things that count. I'm letting the universe handle all that other stuff. I'm not even worried about it. Now your yeses are yes, your noes are noes. You're very meticulous. You're very direct. You're very no nonsense, right? Remember, you all are mutable signs, right? So people try to take advantage of Gemini's all the time. They try to take your kindness for weakness, but not anymore, right? See that person sitting on that throne with that sword in their hand? They're not playing around, not playing around at all. That sword is at rest position, but at any time you'll cut somebody off just to protect your peace because you say, look, I'll never be like this again. That'll never, ever, ever happen. Not in a gazillion years will it happen. Yes, look at this. Now you all have, you know, you have the Midas touch, right? Not surprisingly, because you all are communicators. People are drawn to Geminis, right? People are drawn to that balanced out energy. They love, love, love you all, regardless of what people say. Whatever you think you heard, Geminis, I'm telling you, it's a lot of people out here that speak very highly of you all. You know why? Because I get a lot, do a lot of personal readings where people love Geminis. So anyway, um, and I just happen to be one of them. And I have Gemini in my chart. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to let them say anything bad about you because then you'd be talking about me. Okay. Anyway, so yes, here we go. Um, King of Pentacles. 
you know how to manifest money. You have the Midas touch, right? You know how to manifest money. You know how to manifest wealth, abundance, and all of that. So, yes. Yeah, you don't have time to be worried about people that, and what they're doing from the past. Workplace should be going very, very well for you. Again, a lot of you all, I'm seeing somebody is a, somebody's in marketing or something like that, but just, you know, your presentations are on point. It's just like words are just flowing because you have sailed away from a bunch of chaos and confusion or the universe has created a situation where you didn't have any choice but to sail away from a bunch of mess. No more tears, no more heartache, no more none of that. Yeah, work is going very, very well for a lot of you all because you have chosen you. You have chosen to sail away from chaos, confusion, uh, uh, disruption, static towards your peace. Yes. Let's talk about these 31 ways to manifest the life that you want, right? I'm sure a lot of people know how to do that at this point because like I said, 2020 has been the year that has brought out the creator in everybody. You know, if you weren't creating in 2020, boy, that was the test right there. 2020 was the test. Are you a creator or are you just sitting back waiting for somebody else to do something for you? And it's brought out a lot in everybody. So let's pull this one Oracle card, a merry motive, mm -hmm. a merry motive. Yeah. What did I say about the number zero? Mm hmm. It gives divine protection to any number. Yeah, that divine protection to any number. Yeah, you know who you are. You know exactly who you are. Yeah, you know that you know what your motives are. Your motives have always been sincere motives towards people. And so you just see that the universe is repaying you with so many wonderful things. So, so, so many wonderful things, right? So I want you all to embrace it. I want you to embrace it because you deserve it. Stick around for the 31 if you choose to stick around, but stick around for the 31 ways that you can manifest the life that you want. I know a lot of time people talk about manifestation and a lot of manifestations sound, um, sound the same. Some of them are written the same, the whole nine yards. But those of us who are healers, who are psychics, who are clairvoyants, who have been in this, in this, this field for a very, very long time, um, we know exactly how to manifest the life that we want, right? And a lot of us are very, very happy with the life that we've created for ourselves. So here's my 31 that I created. The first one is your attitude determines your altitude. So be a cheerful giver as well as a cheerful receiver. Number two, always stay in a posture of gratitude. Always, always, always because you don't want to miss it, right? Number three, set clear boundaries for everyone, starting with yourself. Number four, always operate in love. Always operate in love. There's never a reason to operate in hate. Always operate in love. Stay on that love frequency. Number five, listen to God's whispers inside of you and the whispers from the universe. That's your intuition. So when God winks at you, don't forget to wink back. Number six, move in silence. Keep your new and fresh ideas private, right? You never know who's listening, right? Number seven, faith without good works is dead. Number eight, acknowledge your greatness. Number nine, love yourself deeply. Number 10, recognize that there is no competition. That it just simply doesn't exist. <laughs> you are your only competition. Nobody has the same exact life experience as Gemini as you. So you don't have any competition, right? Uh, number 11, I want you all to thrive. The definition of thrive is grow or develop well or, or vigorously. So I want you all to thrive. Number 12, set expectations. You've been putting out good energy in the universe. Expect good energy to come back. Number 13, we all are mere images of each other. Whatever they say about you is a direct reflection of them. It's a direct reflection of them. So if they speak to your highest self, it's a direct reflection of them. If they try to speak to your lowest self, then it's a direct reflection of them. You have nothing to worry about. Number 14, be open to change. Number 15, visualize yourself on the winning side of life. Number 16, know that karma is real. So, so you don't need to sin against people by word, thought, or deed. You really don't because the universe is going to handle it anyway. Just allow the universe to do what the universe does. Number 17, surrender to the universe and see how much easier life becomes. Number 18, slow down and see all the blessings around you, all the blessings within you and the blessings around you. Number, number 19, remove all doubts, including people who doubt you. <laughs> remove them, remove them, remove them. 
You weren't there for me when I was talking about the big dreams. So you can't be a part of that chapter of my life. Number 20, trust the universe's timing because it's always on time, right? Number 21, the universe keeps us all balanced and humble. So keep being unapologetically great. Number 22, protect your peace at all costs. Number 23, Use water to purify your body, both inside and out. Number 24, rest well. Allow your mind, your body, and spirit to heal daily. Number 25, be present. Every moment is a gift. Number 26, speak to your highest self. Remove all negative thoughts about yourself. Number 27, always stand in your power and never, ever, ever relinquish it to anyone. Number 28, know beyond all shadows of a doubt that you are blessed and highly favored. Number 29, know that now is your time. Be who you've always been, which is great. Number, 20, number 30, you are a God. If you've had a personal reading with me, you know exactly what I mean. So I don't need to expound on that. You have to know it, not believe it, not think it, not guess it, not assume it. You have to know that you are a God. And then number 31, you attract who you are. Yes, you attract who you are. Your motives towards people have always been merry. Continue operating in on this frequency of love. You've always had good motives and intentions towards people, wishing people the best, communicating the best towards them. And because you all may not have been on the same frequency doesn't mean that makes them a bad person or their actions doesn't make them a bad person. You all just may not have been good for each other. It could be in the workplace. It could be family. It could be love interest. It doesn't matter. Just know that your motive towards them has always been married. Have a great one. Again, if I don't get a chance to talk to you all before the new year, happy new years to every single one of you, Geminis. I hope and I wish you the absolute best. If you're interested in scheduling a personal reading with me, please do so by going to queenamunra.com. Look forward to talking to you. Bye.